So there's, uh, there's really kind of two different things you could talk about with butterfly houses. One is having like a home butterfly house or a conservatory with plants planted for butterflies and have butterflies flying free in the conservatory where they live protected lives and they don't have to uh, be worried about predators or anything like that. And what you'd need to do is plant the flowers that butterflies would nectar on and probably supply some supplemental nectar uh, feeders and some fruit. And you could raise or catch butterflies in your yard or, you, or like a, on a larger scale, a butterfly conservatory would have butterflies from all around the world that were produced on farms. And they are kept in a greenhouse or a screenhouse and just fly around freely in there. Um, as long as you have proper light, they need to be in a sunny location and you need to have a lot of food for them because if you put you know, several hundred butterflies in a 4,000 square foot area, they'll run out of food with just flowers. Uh, the other type of butterfly house that people ask about is the little wooden boxes with the slots in them that you put in your yard and that's aimed at keeping butterflies over winter and giving them a safe place to stay in the winter. And those actually were found to be kind of a gimmick, like they don't really work and more often than not you'll have wasps and bees nesting in them or you'll have spiders hanging out in them before you get a butterfly. And butterflies actually see uh, crevices and cracks as a place to spend the winter and the side of your house or a log pile is thousands of crevices and cracks and that box is usually two or three slots so the chances of them actually being in that box are pretty slim so it's a it's a decorative thing for a garden but it's kind of a novelty and it's not actually a functional thing